guys, Tuva here. It is Thursday the 8th of September and it is Thor's Day or Thuna's Dark as was said in Old English. Thor is the god of thunder, strength and protection. Hammer wielding mighty god that looks after all those on Midgard and those on Asgard but of course was renownedly known in England as Thuna. So, we can see there is a resemblance. The Anglo-Saxons would use Thuna or Thuna and the Norse people would use Thor. All the same God, all the same wonderful traits. And so, that is Thursday. Now, how can we honor him? He is a very powerful God of protection. So we can do sigils for him asking for his power on that day but also giving an offering and you can do that by just putting a piece of iron on the altar so we have gebo lovely rune and that is all about love and forgiveness what are we thinking about today it's thursday we're making our way towards the weekend and sometimes i feel Love is a very difficult subject for people. What are you going through at this moment? Is there something going on where you're feeling very emotional? Is there a love link which is very difficult at this moment? Partnerships, a skill, an ability, a love of things that you like to do. So it's not just about physical love. It can be a love of something that you like doing, something that you haven't been able to do but it's on your bucket list it's also about forgiveness but i feel it's forgiveness about who you are forgiveness of the things that you've done to yourself not to sit and dwell on it but to start to put that behind you and start to live for you now because people tend to put their own lives on hold so that others can do what they need to do and then after many years they look at themselves and think what happened where did all my oomph go things that i really wanted to do that i've left it too late it is never too late guys never too late to start to do the things that will make you really happy within it is also a gift to yourself it is interpreted as a gift the gift of being able to receive as well as to give which is great because we tend to be very good at giving but some of us find it very difficult to accept but it also comes as a forgiveness thing as well. When you think about those around you, is there something you can do to make their day to give in some way, which would be a gift? It doesn't have to be a physical gift, guys. It can be an emotional gift, a gift of love, a gift of your time. Have you been neglecting maybe your elderly parents? Have you been neglecting those around you? maybe it's time for you to give a little bit of your time to them and they will really appreciate that and they will give you a gift of love back and this is something that can be forgotten when we are busy when we've got things on our mind and we've also put ourselves on the back burner and we're not doing what we want for ourselves so we're in a little bit of a quandrum where we need to be thinking the important things, the things that's going to bring love into our lives and a joy of our abilities. And that is something you cannot go without in your lifespan because we only live with what we've got. And if you don't use that, then you've had a very dull life. Don't live in the doldrums, guys. Get out there and do the things that you really should do and know that you should do and then receive that love back giving you time to see what it is that you can do for yourself as well and you may find by you giving you'll receive enough to help you to attain that also the other point guys there's the knowledge of knowing just how much to give not to overdo it not to make a mess of it 
you need to be able to give at the right time, give to the right person and be there in your fullness but not too much. Finding the right time to do the right things is very important and not to do it unbalanced. Don't be the one that gives too much and not receive. Don't be the one that takes taking and not giving. We have to find that balance. Like in every room, these open up doorways, guys, they're not just a symbol on a stone. They are an actual symbol that opens the door, opens that energy. So you have to really use that energy. It's not just reading it. You need to hold it, meditate on it, see what it's got to tell you, because that's what the runes do. Holding it in your hand or holding it on your third eye and meditating very swiftly. It doesn't have to be long. You will know because it opens that door and it shows you what it is that you're meant to be doing. It shows you where you're at and you will know what path to take. Use that energy by feeling it. When you hold it, feel that energy. Feel it absorb into you and that's where the strength comes. That's where the conviction comes from and that's where we can walk forwards in a better way. So I hope that's helped you today, guys. Short and sweet, I know, but I do think one rune is enough at a time for us to be absorbing, which we can work on ourselves. It's about you holding it, finding those energies and using them. Also, sometimes if you have a big reading, it can be too much, too much energy for you to absorb. And so you miss the points in it. So take a rune at a time. And if you want to, take a rune on your own and try to feel it and understand it and if you have any problems put a comment below I'll always get back to you then I'm gonna leave it so happy Thor's day or Thuna's dark happiness comes with Thor he's a lovely energy to work with give him an offering put a lovely rune try to work with it let me know how you get on and I'll be back again tomorrow so wherever you are Whatever time of day, night or evening it may be, I do wish you the best ever. House of Alang. <laughs>